skills and have a bit of fun too. To get you started, here are my top tips for getting kids cooking at home. Safety first. There are safe ways of children of any age to cook. The bridge is a really useful way of teaching children how to chop vegetables or fruit safely. The claw technique goes alongside the bridge with a thumb tucked behind the fingers holding the veg or fruit in place. The language of food. Try and find fun things to describe ingredients as. For instance, an onion, we talk about the hairy bottom rather than the root. We don't want to chop through the hairy bottom because it will make us cry. It's that kind of fun language you can use, especially the younger children, they love that. Be creative. We all know it can be challenging to get children to eat fruit and vegetables, so you can make a game of it. For main dishes, you can ask the children to find as many brightly coloured vegetables to put into a pasta sauce. Desserts work in exactly the same way. When making crumbles, you could layer up with apples and then you could challenge the children to try and find some strawberries too. You've done it in an interesting and engaging way. Really yummy. Mix it up. There's loads of different things you can do to engage children with cooking. Stirring with a spoon, lots of chopping up, touching, tasting. There's loads of games you can do around cooking too. One game we do is holding up an item over a child's head and the child has to ask questions to find out what it is. Hygiene. Food hygiene is really important. The amount of time it takes for them to sing the happy birthday song twice is how long they should spend washing their hands for. Just make it a more fun and interesting activity. Did you have a good time today?